Okay. Okay. Let's start sitting. And we'll start at the edge of the chair if you can. And remember, just go from one side and the other so you are sitting right on your sitting bones. And the hands are on your knees. Now, take your time and you're going to think about aligning the crown of the head to the breastbone, to the navel, down towards the floor. And from there, you're going to breathe in, you're going to reach the shoulders right up towards your ears. And then slide the shoulders down. And shoulders up towards your ears. And slide it down. And three. And down. And four. And down. And we're doing one more. And five. And down. Keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. You're going to breathe in. You're going to look towards your left. Exhale, center. Only go to your maximum. Don't force it. Inhale to the right. And center. And left. Sorry, that's it. And center. Inhale, right. And center. And two more. Left. And center and right and center now we're going to start with the arm you're going to inhale lift the left arm up as you exhale all you're going to do is to let the arm flop and then you lift the same arm up left arm up and let it flop and again up Exhale, let it flop. We do two more and up. Exhale, flop. And one more up. And exhale, flop. Bring the hand to the knee again and see if you feel any difference between one side and the other. Now, hopefully that side feels a little bit looser, a little bit lower down. Now we're going to go into the right side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, flop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, flop. Inhale, lift. And flop. And lift. And flop. One more. And lift. And flop. Good. Bring it onto the center. And now we're going to start with our rocking of the pelvis. So remember that you are not collapsing like this. You are connecting through the abdominals and the pelvic floor, bringing the abdomen. The, you're going to tilt the pelvis so the tailbone comes towards your navel. You breathe in as you breathe out. Exhale. So you're moving just the pelvis if you can without moving the top half. Move pelvis. And inhale, sit tall. That's it. Exhale. Pelvis. Tilt the tailbone towards the navel, drawing your tummy in and sit tall. And three. And four. And four. And four. And five. And tall. Now we're going to add the top half as well. So now we're going to a full C curve. Exhale, curl. And you might find a stretch between your shoulder blades. Inhale, rebuild and nice and tall. Exhale, curl. And nice and tall. And three. And tall and four and tall 
and one more and five and two. Let's take our both arms up, inhale up. Exhale, we, remember we're gonna take behind us into a circle to stretch, but without allowing the ribs to, so you keep the ribs where they are and you take into a stretch back. Inhale up. Exhale, stretch. And three. And stretch. And four and stretch, and five, and stretch. And then we reverse, inhale up. Now reach the shoulders high up, and then draw the shoulders down. Inhale up, reach high up, and then draw the shoulders down. Massaging your rib cage with your shoulder blades. And three, and down. And four. And down. And five. And down. Good. And relax the arms. Good. Now we're going to carry on with the shoulders. Okay, we're gonna take shoulders and arms. Take the arms with the palms facing forward. Now, you're going to rotate and you're gonna rotate to the ceiling and see how much you can go. Again, without allowing the ribs and then rotate down and back. And breathing in and breathing out. And three and turn, and four, and turn, and keep the arms slightly in front of you, five and below the shoulders, and down, and six, we do four more, down, and seven, I know this can be quite tiring on the shoulders, and eight, and nine, and 10, down, and then relax. It's quite tiring, I know. Just give it a little bit of a, yeah. And now we go back. This is the last one we're doing for the shoulders and the top of the arm. Palms are facing down now. We're going to do 10 small circles each way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, reverse, and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and let it drop. Good. Now, hands on here, and we're going to our um, abdominal work. So I'm going to do it sideways so you can see. So remember, you are here, and you're going to a small C curve. So you've got a C curve, so your tummy is working. And we inhale, go back a little bit on that C curve. Exhale, keep the C curve and go forward, drawing the tummy in. Inhale, go back. Exhale, forward. And two. And forward. That's it. Three. And forward. And four. And forward. And five and four, and six, and four. Now, lift up. Now, you're gonna take one arm up, and then the other arm up, and go into the C curve. And you take it back, and then forward, and two, and four, and three. Draw that tummy in really, Trying to get that abdominal connection. And five. And six. Good. Down. And then come up. Now, the next one, we are going to stay back. If it doesn't feel right staying back, then you come back. So I'm going to show you two versions. Version number one, you stay back. And we're just going to 
move one arm at a time. If you can't do that, you're going to go up and then you return, okay? So you choose which one you want. If you can, you go back, find where you can stay with your tummy. And then you breathe in, take one arm up, breathe out to return. Other side, two, and return. And three, tummy in, and four, and return. And five, and return. And six, we go to 12. And seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. And then roll down, stretch your back, and release. And then rolling up. And then good. Now we're going to do our oblique work. So one hand behind the other hand is down. And then we reach the hand to the ground, elbow to the ceiling, inhale, exhale, use the oblique to return. We do six and two and return and three and return and four and return and five and return and six and return let's swap and one and return and two and return and three and four and five and six good and then recover let's Hold on to the, let's do our hip flexor lift. So you hold onto the chair and we lift one leg up 10 times. One and lower and two and lower and three and lower and four and lower and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10 and down. Other side, lifting up one and two, keep breathing and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10 and down. Let's separate the legs and we're gonna go into our roll down now. So breathing in as you breathe out, chin into your chest and we roll down. Feel the stretch on the back. Stay there, breathe in. As you breathe out, roll up. Inhale, exhale, nod. And then down. Inhale there. Exhale up. And nice and tall. And one more nod. And roll. Stay there, breathe in. And you breathe in. Coming up. And good. Let's bring the legs in. And then remember, if you can, you're going to stand up without touching the chair. Otherwise, you stand up the safest way that you can. If you can, you're going to lean forward, press, and then coming up. Good. And then we're going to slowly go down to the floor. Good. 
And we're going to start today on the floor with a bridge. So we are lying on your back. With the hands down. Having the feet hip width apart, find that, let your, your spine really relax down into the ground. And we're going to do a few pelvic tilts first, like we did on the chair, we're gonna do on the floor before we do our bridging. So from there, we're going to breathe in. As you breathe out, you gently tilt the tailbone to the navel. We are not lifting to a bridge yet. We're just rocking the pelvis and then back to the center. And again, draw your tummy in, bring in that pelvic floor and gently rock the tailbone to the navel and then gently return. As if you've got a piece of string and we're pulling up, soften the rib cage and then re release. And again, tilt. and release and we're doing two more and tilt drawing the abdominals in and release and again tilt and release now you're trying to keep the pelvis as it is as you we lift we are not going to roll the pelvis we're going to lift into a flat keeping kind of a flat back. So you press your arms firmly down. Exhale, we press and lift to one. Inhale, down, but don't quite touching the ground. And two. If you can, you keep just off the ground. And three, so we are working the glutes and the abs. And four, get those hamstrings work. And five. And six and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, and down, good. Now, bring the hands behind your head, elbows in your peripheral vision, and then again, keeping the pelvis stable. We don't want to curl the pelvis. We're gonna go into abdominal curl. So as you curl up, you're going to draw your tummy in, keep your chin away from your chest and gently down. And two, and down. And three, and down. Four, and down. And five. And six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and down. Good. Open the elbows down on the floor. Bring your feet together, knees together. That's it. And now we're gonna go into hip rolls. So you send the knees to one side into a stretch and back to the center. And send it to the other side as you inhale. That's it, good. And center. Try to keep the shoulders and the elbows on the ground. And three, so you only go as far as it allows you to go. Really creating that spiral. And and five and six and recover good let's turn on your side and we're going to keep with the legs bent for the clamp So one hand is down, you are lying on the other hand or you can have a little cushion. 
And then using the abdominals again, you're going to inhale to open the knee. Exhale, draw your tummy in and close. And two. And close. And three. And close. And four. And close. And five. And close. And six. And close. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now we extend the leg and you extend the leg, reach out and away, and we lift up one lower and two try to go slowly so you can draw the tummy in and really make the glutes work so you're working here and four and five and six and seven and eight nine and ten and down good from there we bend and we go into our arm opening again another rotation bringing the legs forward together and the arms forward into our arm openings in we reach exhale return and two and return and three and four two more and five and six Good. From there, let's turn around to the other side. That's it. So we start with the clam and we're going to inhale, open. Exhale, draw the tummy in and close. And two. And close. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Ten. Good. Extend, reach out and away. Lengthen your waistline. That's it. And we lift. One. And two. And three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and down. Let's bring the legs in and the arms forward. So bring the legs at 90, and then we reach, and then we inhale to open up and stretch. Exhale to return. And two. And return. And three. And four. And 
five. And one more. Um, six. Good. From there, let's go on the tummy. So let's lie down on the tummy. And we're going to our cobra, small cobra. Forehead down. And remember, keep the length through the crown of the head as you breathe in and lift the top heart, mid back and upper back. You lift, keeping the head in line with your spine and then exhale down. And again, inhale, lift. That's it. And down. Keep looking down to the ground. Don't over lift the head. And three, you want the back of your neck nice and long. And two. And five. And six. And seven. Exhale down. And eight. And nine. And ten. And down. Now, if you can, you're going to lift one arm and the opposite leg up. So up. And then bring it down. And two. And down. And I don't know where you are. And three. Where is it? Oh, you're here. And four. And five. And six. And seven and eight and nine and ten. Well, and then up, come up and push back into child's pose. Deep breath. If this is too difficult, then you go into all, your all fours and go into your cat to stretch. And if you are in child's pose, now you're going to come up onto all fours. And breathe in. As you breathe out, we're going to go into the cat. And then lengthen back into neutral. And again, go into the cat. And lengthen out into neutral. And then again, and cat. And lengthen out into neutral. And from there, slowly, you're going to Go back, and then you're going to find a way of standing up for us to do a roll down. So hands down by your sides. Nice and tall, breathing in as you breathe out. Chin into your chest, and you're going to fold over and roll. Stay there, breathe in. As you breathe out, slowly rolling up. And stand tall. Inhale. Exhale down. Stay there, breathe in. As you breathe out, head, neck and shoulders are the last thing to come up. 
Now restart the vertebras, feel tall, and now you're gonna take your arms up towards the ceiling. Stay nice and tall. Align your crown of the head to the breastbone to the navel. Take a deep breath in, and then let it drop. Good, well done, thank you.